Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be doing uh, unboxing and a tiny light bit of emulation for the new, brand new, Cool Baby RS18. Now I've been looking forward to this, I scour the internet um, just to try and find new systems, new handhelds, so obviously I can get them, test them, make sure that I do an intensive breakdown of each emulation how it runs and uh, as you know it seems to be my common phrase on the channel is let's have the games do the talking i'll be breaking it down but what's interesting obviously with the box it's uh quite nice actually I, re I really like the design of the box i'm not too sure about uh metal gear solid uh, image on it because I doubt it very much that you'll be able to play the 360 version of that game but hey ho the joys of the Chinese handheld industry so yep but this seems interesting to me uh, before we start and I haven't had a look at this or gone into it yet so this is equally as a surprise as what it is for you guys watching at present when you're watching this video eight I'm taking that eight bit 16, uh, 16 bit, 32 bit, 64 bit, and 1 to 8 bit. That's what I'm assuming. Maybe you can Google Translate it. I should have really done that, but hey, it is what it is. 2010 to 2020, I take it maybe that's when the company was founded, called Baby, I take it. What do we have on the back? Lots of serial numbers, as you can see, it's the RS18. Yep, not really that much to tell you about on the box. Okay, so let's get it open, shall we? Boo -de -boo. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Usual standard plastic bag. Let's get rid of it. Inside the box, charging cable, USB C. Nice. I really am liking the way forward with that. Standard crappy. Micro SD card reader. Seal of approval, quality control. And a manual you'll never read. Now little is known um, about this system. And for like I, I, I ordered this a while ago. There was hardly any information about it. And the seller that I got it from even though he was lovely and was very responsive to me. Still, I just don't think, he, he he's a seller. I don't think he's the actual maker of it. So he was very limited in the information about this product as well. Okay, so I'm sure you're all ecstatic and excited to wait to see what it looks like. But here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Again, this thing is huge, 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 huge. So on the bottom left, you will see that we have volume, which is nice. We have very clicky and responsive buttons. Nice. Another good thing I'd say is the switch analog sticks dual analog sticks very nice it's a welcome change especially for the x2 and um, those rocker analog sticks i don't even know if you can call them analog sticks the rockers they were okay i got used to them i'm used to them because of the 3ds but this is a lot better we have the terrible absolutely terrible buttons and I don't like it. They feel very nice though. Um, good response. Do you know what's bugging me? 
Oh, it looks like there's two. Is there two? I hope there's two, otherwise that looks awful. Yep, I think it was just split. Very satisfying. No. Okay, so same on the button side, feel really nice, very responsive. They feel lovely to touch as well, actually, to be honest. I know some people don't like that design, but um, yeah, I don't mind it. Sorry, camera went out of focus. Yep, not too bad. We have the start and select button on the bottom right. Uh, another interesting part of this, the bottom is... Nothing special. There is absolutely nothing on the bottom whatsoever. On the back. Oh, we have one speaker. So the sound isn't going to be very good. It's going to be tinny and it's going to be crap. And I bet it's crackly at the same time. We have a terrible and horrible logo. Looks awful. We have nice grip feelings on the side. Now, I like the design of this because I have to admit, it actually feels really comfy in the hand i think with the shape being cut here it doesn't this part doesn't dig into the palm and this part sits really comfortable with the finger i really like that that is actually really really nice it's very light it's not like the uh x2 that was light but it's this is lighter definitely move it's really 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 quite light which is good for long-term gaming you know, not long term, but, you know, if you're playing for a couple of hours, it really, really won't make a difference on the wrists, put any strain on them. Okay, so on the side, there isn't anything. Yeah, nothing's on the sides. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. We have... L1, L2, R1, R2. That is brilliant. Really clicky. Really nice. Feel good. We have the standard headphone jack. There is two mini HDMI, is it? Oh no, mini USB. They must be for control pads. Obviously, this has got HDMI out. It is HDMI mini, SD card, charging port. Yeah, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yep. We also have a back button, I presume. That must be like a home button. That's quite a nice feature. And also we have the power. Okay, so that's, yeah, I, I think it looks quite nice. And it's plastic, so you're not going to expect something like the RG350M build quality. Um, but overall, I actually think it's quite nice. It really is comfortable. Oh, we have... L3 and R3 clicky buttons. So that's essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten buttons available uh, to probably remap and program. That's really good. So, as always, let's see what it's like and let's have the games do the talking. Power this little beauty up and it's in Chinese. I can tell you right away it is not an IPS display. Most definitely not an IPS display. But it's very sharp and the colours are very bright. So if it is an LCD, it's a very good LCD. But that viewing angle, watch it just disappear. Ouch, 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 ouch. That is a big no, in my opinion. 
okay what are we what are we talking for viewing angles on the side because obviously if you're playing two players with two separate d-pads oh actually okay so the viewing angle on the vertical is awful as in just the gradient of but if you look right or left it actually doesn't change whatsoever why is that that is super strange. Well, that's a bit of a conundrum. So the viewing angle from left to right doesn't change and it actually feels like an IPS display when that happens. Like there is no change at all. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So that is good for two players. So if you're either side, you in the middle, two people on the left and right of you, if you plug those controllers in, you're not going to have a problem with viewing angles uh, from the side. That's nice. But, as I demonstrated, um, yeah. But you don't really play it like that. You play it facing you. So, yeah, I suppose it's not too bad. Okay, I can tell you straight away that this is using the same software as the X2. Uh, it, it's just, yeah, it's exactly the same. I can't begin to tell you that it's different it's not android it literally is the same software so this will be running a custom yeah it'll be custom and it's not open it will be closed software so that again because of the experience with the x2 is very limited in adding extra opk files or you know swapping out emulation adding different emulators uh, to improve quality because they might not have chose the best emulator for the games okay so we have settings file movie game history yeah that's all we get so let's go into game shall we oh wow this is all new okay so i haven't got a bloody clue what that is k with a star <sighs> don't know what that is either i'm having a guess that one is arcade one is cps maybe we have famicom game boy game boy advance game boy color but it's got an sp crazy game gear mega drive that's going to be Neo Geo. Uh, PS1. Is there any more? Super Famicom. SNES. And there's no more. Oh, great. So, it boasts that it can do N64 and PSP. But on reflection, it doesn't. Okay, let's go into games. And as you can see straight away, they're all in Chinese. I tell you what though guys, actually seeing some type of graphic display, the image is actually really vibrant and nice and it's crisp. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the games are and if it runs well. I hope there's no screen tearing with it not being an IPS and I hope the refresh rate of the screen itself is good because it doesn't really matter what screen it is, IPS or LCD. It's the refresh rate that makes the difference. Like I don't mind not having those viewing angles as long as when the games are running I'm not seeing any ghosting and I'm not seeing any screen tearing because of the refresh rate of the screen. So, it not being a true IPS display, that doesn't bother me at all in the slightest. Because it on reflection, it actually, the colours are beautiful and it's crisp. Very, very, very crisp. I like that. Okay, um, I'm going to do something with the powers of YouTube where... I'm going to sort all this madness out because I'm not going to be doing any game testing with Chinese ROMs. 
because it's pointless and futile. Maybe an arcade, it's okay. Luckily, you have a screen to tell you what games they actually are. Okay, I will be back <laughs> in a second, but hopefully with different games. Oh, I am back. I know it's probably only just been a split second for you guys, but I've just been, yeah, trying to sort a few things. So let's have the games, do the talking. Do you know what, guys? There's no screen tearing. The refresh rate looks absolutely beautiful. And I'm using the analog stick at the moment and the moves are coming out very easy. The controls are lovely. They're cheap, they're not the best, but they work and I have no problems with getting moves out. I might get my ass kicked. Yeah, easy to get the moves out. Controls are nice. Let's try the D-pad. D pad's awful, you can get the moves out, but I just give me a D pad any day. Yep, so it looks like it is definitely an analog jobby. So, yeah, as you can see, guys, as I tilt it, it washes out, but then as I tilt it back, we get a fantastic, yeah, and the same happens when you go up as well, washes out. But when you find there's quite a big sweet sweet spot though, so that's good. But yeah, it still looks really nice. That's running really nice. Okay. Yeah, as you can see guys, the image is so crisp. And Bloody Raw 2 is running flawlessly. And it looks epic. I know it's not an IPS, but I tell you what, that screen, I don't know what the resolution is either, but it must be good because I really am gonna try and find out what the specs are of this. So far, if this can run Bloody Raw 2, it's going to run everything. Everything PS1 wise.
Yeah, PS1 is looking fantastic. It plays really well. Let me know in the comments, guys, what other games that you wish to see testing on the Cool Baby RS18. I'm sure the games are doing the talking, guys. Okay, let's move on to some um, N64 and let's see what the results are. Now I'm curious. Now I'm very curious of what we're, what it, what it's going to run like. We have success. Interesting. There's a bit of stuttering, but it is most definitely playable. Oh, this is great news. And it looks absolutely lovely as well. Take that. Let's see our drift like. Can we complete it? Yes, we can. Oh, this runs way better than what the X2 did. This is actually enjoyable and playable. Buttons are responsive, feel nice. Slipping on a banana, not nice. Oh, I'm absolutely made up. Finally, big screen. And a bit of N64. As I say, it's a bit choppy. But it's more the sound than anything else. Don't keep pressing left and right, otherwise you skid out. Peach, get out my way. I'll be up my ass. Okay, I'm interested to test something else because, as you can see, guys, that's running really well by the sound. But hey ho, I can live with that.
as you can see guys it is playable Nothing I can do about that guy, sorry. I think we found another little hidden gem. And I'd say the performance is on par with Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, I'd say. That's pretty impressive. But I'm sure I'm sure you can see and as my quote always says, let's have the games do the talking. But yeah, we're uh... Okay. Oh, I totally missed. I wonder how many times that everybody's actually seen the beginning half of this game.
Okay, so I'm going to be an absolute tease and uh, leave that there because it's already been quite a long one. Yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on the new Pal Kitty RS18. Yes, the screen, it, it, it's a bit annoying, but obviously when you're looking directly at it, it looks absolutely beautiful. And as I say, when you tilt it right or left, as you can see, it looks a lot better because of the new glare. But the screen is sharp. Let me know what you want to see testing on the RS18. Obviously, I'll keep trying to do some extra systems on it. I won't really show you the aspect ratio because it's exactly the same as the X2. You just go to the settings and you change it to uh, aspect ratio and then it will take it to a 4x3 which is pretty cool. Uh, I know a lot of people like playing games like that, but I left it on full screen just for the purposes of this video. Yeah, I am pleasantly pleasantly shocked. I didn't have much high expectations. I thought that it was just another system that would tell you that it does something and then it doesn't. But performance-wise, it is a lot better than the Palka DX2. So that's nice, and also you have the added benefits of having the switch analog sticks. The two shoulder buttons, as you know, the X2 only comes with a left and right button. The back button is a welcome change in addition. Sounds crap, but hey how we live with it. It's Chinese handhelds, it's not undoable. Whack some headphones in and you'll get the best experience for sound anyway. The D-pad is awful. Why do they continue to do button D-pad when 99.9% .9 of the buying population do not like them? Stop doing it. Get a normal D-pad. Just because the Switch is doing very well and they have buttons on there, it doesn't necessarily mean that we like them because we don't. Yeah, love to know your thoughts, guys, as always. Thank you very much for watching. Please share, get as many people as we can to see the new Cool Baby RS18. As I say, link will be in the description. Please hit the like button, spread the love. And as always, guys, take care.